In the Northwest, at least two people have died after days of torrential rain and flooding. Miguel Almaguer is just outside Seattle. Miguel, rivers are raging there tonight. Yeah, Lester, believe it or not, the floodwaters here are expected to recede, and eventually the rain is going to stop. That's the good news. The bad news, another weather system is on the way for an area already waterlogged. Bloated and bustling. Tonight, many of the rivers, streams, and creeks that carve through the Pacific Northwest are bursting at the seams, fueled by days of relentless rain. The dangerous, fast-moving torrents are leaving some 8 million people in the region under flood alerts. Across Washington, emergency teams race from rescue to rescue, the Coast Guard plucking one driver to safety, then hoisting a family from their home, which was suddenly surrounded by four feet of rising water. Today, an hour outside Seattle, the damage has been done to some homes in Granite Falls. I put a lot of time and effort in this, and it just took one thing to take it all away. The deluge which triggered the flooding, the first of three atmospheric rivers, dumping several inches of rain in the region's biggest cities. It's Creston now. Outside Portland, authorities fear at least two people were swept away by powerful currents when flash flooding turned deadly. How yeah, would you feel if you watched your best friend go in and in the water and you couldn't do about it? With up to 10 inches of rain expected to fall by tomorrow, today's reprieve from the next system will be short-lived. The water's rising high, and um, we're getting ready to get out. A region desperate to dry out, now finding itself in the bullseye of yet another storm. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Granite Falls, Washington. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.